Hey, friends, let me show you. Um, got a pretty cool little idea here. If you if you switch an E to an A minor, you'll notice they're the same shapes, E and A minor. And they sound cool. Check this out. Right on. Cool. Now, like I say, they're the same shape. So, if you go to F to B flat minor, again, we're using the same shape. Check it out. keeps going all the way up the next so F sharp and B minor and G to C minor G sharp C sharp minor A minor D minor and that's it's actually pretty important to be able to switch those quickly if you're trying to play songs <laughs> or play especially play a, a gig uh, you look for things that are you know similar when you move chord shapes and they might sound good sometimes they sound terrible let me give you an example of a bad idea <laughs> let's say you like to go from G to C2. If you move it up one fret, uh, not everything works like that. All right, just had to do that. One of my uh, gurus, Dean Morris, he used to uh, do that as a gag between songs. Okay, we're going to play a song in G sharp. And people were just like, what? He was funny. All right, but, right, you get the idea. Some things don't work to move, but some things do. So look for the things that do work and play those, and the ones that don't work, don't do that. <laughs> okay, man, I'm in. I'm out. <laughs>